Hello, I'm going to present our paper, Non-Interactive Composition of Sigma Protocols via Shared and Hash. This is a joint work with Miguel Ambrona, Andrei Bogdanov, Miyako Okubo, and Aaron Rosen. I'm Masayuki Abe. Our starting point is a Sigma protocol, which is a special kind of proof system where a prover convinces a verifier that there exists a witness W that satisfies a relation with respect to a statement X by exchanging three messages A, E, and Z. It is sound in the sense that given two valid transcripts on the same first message and distinct challenges, an extractor successfully computes a witness that satisfies that relation. This property is called two special soundness. A Sigma protocol is a special honest verifier zero knowledge in the sense that there exists a simulator that takes a true statement and an arbitrary challenge string and outputs the first and last messages that verify correctly. Since a Sigma protocol is a public coin proof system, the fiat Shamir technique works to make it non-interactive in the random oracle model. The challenge is generated by hashing the first message. Here, the statement X is also given to the hash function as input for security reasons, but we omit that for the visual simplicity in the rest of this talk. One of the reasons that Sigma protocols are widely used is that it is easy to obtain a Sigma protocol for a compound statement by composing the Sigma protocols for basic statements. For a conjunctive statement, parallel execution of Sigma protocols for the basic statements with a common challenge constitute a Sigma protocol for the compound statement. For disjunctive statements, a well-known technique by Grammar, Dangard, and Schoenmacher is widely used. When a prover knows a witness for either of the basic statements, it simulates the unknown side with a random challenge and answers to the known side with respect to a challenge computed by additively sharing the given challenge string so that the preliminary chosen challenge is the other chair. The verifier checks if the challenges chosen by the prover are in a correct relation and verify every basic proof. From the verifier's point of view, it is totally unknown which of the shared challenges are chosen in advance for simulation. Actually, efficient sigma protocols are obtained by such composition for any compound statement that is efficiently represented by a monotone formula or a threshold access structure or a monotone spam program. In the rest of this talk, we focus on the case of monotone formula for simplicity. Now we get back to the simple OR proof by the CDS94 composition. We consider its non-interactive variant with the Fiat Shamir technique. Recall that the challenge string used for simulation is chosen by the prover, and the verifier does not see how it is generated. Namely, the prover has full control over the challenge string. It is perfectly fine in the original CDS composition, but it can be troublesome in some extended cases as we explain later. Furthermore, the CDS composition has other limitations that we try to overcome in this work. Our proposal can be summarized in one sentence. Hash each share before using it as a challenge. Namely, instead of choosing a challenge randomly, we generate it by hashing a random string. The RDB sharing is done with respect to the inputs to hash function f, and the shares are sent to the verifier. The verifier algorithm is modified accordingly. Hash function f used for this purpose is independent of hash function h for the fiat Shamir transform. Now we explain how such a small modification 
makes differences. There are three benefits in the modified scheme compared to the original CDS composition. We explain them one by one. The first point is an efficiency improvement by recycling transcripts for repeated statements. Consider a compound statement where the same statement appears multiple times in different clauses. In such a case, the original CDS requires multiple runs of the underlying Sigma protocol on the repeated statement. Let's think of a toy example where the compound statement consists of three literals and two variables like this. Statement x1 appears twice in the compound statement. A prover knowing a witness for x1 simulates a proof on x2 and proves on x1 twice, once for the first appearance in the compound statement and the other for the second. Challenge strings are generated according to the secret sharing for the dual of the access structure for this formula. The verifier executes the underlying verification algorithm three times. Thus, the overall complexity is linear in the number of literals in the compound statement. We then consider eliminating the multiple executions of the sigma protocols on the duplicated statement. Suppose that we merge the first message for statement x1 into 1. Since the challenge strings are generated according to the access structure, there are still two challenges to x1. So the prover answers to those challenges with the same first message. However, this constitutes two valid transcripts with the same first message and different challenges that reveals the witness. Such a risk is indeed pointed out in the literature that presents an efficient compiler for Sigma protocols. Our share then hash modification allows secure merger of all shares assigned to a repeating statement. In this case, shares S1 and S1 prime assigned to two appearances of X1 are hashed together to generate a challenge string E1. Accordingly, they execute the underlying Sigma protocol only once for each statement, no matter how many times they appear in the compound statement. This saves both computation and communication compared to the original CDS composition. Let me move to the second point where we explain about generalized uh, special soundness. Observe that the original two special soundness can be naturally extended to K special soundness where given K valid transcripts with respect to the same first message and distinct challenges, the extractor successfully outputs a witness. There are several interesting protocols that fall into this category. In particular, star-like protocols are known to be three special sound and used in many lattice-based and code-based constructions. To explain how the original CDS falls short with K-special sound protocols, we first recall that K special sound protocols can have large soundness error. It means that it might be possible to answer to multiple challenges without knowing the witness. Now recall that in the CDS composition, the given challenge E is shared into E1 and E2. Since it is possible to answer up to this number of challenges in each part, if their combinations cover all possible challenges, it is possible to complete the protocol without knowing the witness. Here is a toy example of three special sound case with the challenge space consisting of 0, 1, and 2. It has soundness error of two source and it is possible to answer to two challenges without knowing the witness. If A1 and A2 are set so that one can answer to challenges 0 and 1 to x1 and 0 and 2 to x2, then their combination allows to answer any E in 0, 1, and 2. Share then hash modification can solve the problem. 
Suppose that the challenge space is exponentially large. To cover the whole space, at least one of these variations must be exponential. Then, if f is a random oracle, challenges distribute uniformly over the challenge space. However, it is hard to prepare a first message where one can answer exponentially many random challenges. Actually, in the paper, we proved the soundness in several cases where hash functions used to the field Shamir transform and share then hash modification are modeled as programmable or non-programmable random oracles. Now we move to the third point where we explain how our new technique leads to a security proof in non-programmable random oracle for signature combined schemes. Think about a signature scheme obtained from CDS and the Fiat Shamia transform. In the minimum setting, a public key consists of two instances of a hard language, and a signature is an OR proof of the statements where the message is included in the inputs to the hash function. The signature scheme is indeed secure if the hash function is modeled as programmable random oracle. A question is if the same holds in the non-programmable random oracle model where the random oracle is out of the control of the reduction algorithm. The proof will be done by reducing the unforgeability to the statistical soundness of the underlying sigma protocols. The signing oracle can be simulated without manipulating the output of the random oracle if one of the witnesses is given to the simulator. A problem is that when the adversary succeeds, there is no way to see if the adversary was successful in attacking the other instance whose witness is not known to the simulator. Indeed, Fischlin, Harassala, and Jensen showed that its unforgeability cannot be proved by a black box reduction in non-programmable random oracle model. In the case of shared hash, we have another hash oracle here. Then, by observing the order of queries and answers from these hash oracles, one can see which instance is being attacked. For example, look at this case where E star in the forged signature is returned from hash function H before E1 is returned from F. It means that A1 star is fixed before its challenge E1 star. Thus, Z1 is a real answer that can be obtained only by breaking the soundness of the underlying protocol on statement X1. This property helps to prove the unforgeability in the non-programmable random oracle model. In this work, we have proposed a simple modification over the CDS composition of Sigma protocols. While there are techniques to improve properties of CDS in specific settings, our advantage is the generality and simplicity of the modification. Thanks for listening.